I want to talk about how Spain fucked over the Native Americans in South America and in Mexico. Who are the Hispanic people? I mean, what is Hispanic or being Latino? What does that even mean? Uh, contrary to the popular belief, it's not a race. It has nothing to do with race. Uh, being Hispanic is about cultural heritage. That's what it is. So you can be black and Hispanic. You can be white and Hispanic. You can be Native American and Hispanic. But how many Hispanics even identify as Native Americans? Almost none of them. That's why I say Hispanic people do not have any cultural heritage. Or if they do, actually I take that back, they do have a cultural heritage. They have a cultural heritage that belongs to an invader. It belongs to the Spanish motherfuckers who came from Spain, the conquistadors, who raped and killed Native Americans and then forced their culture on these indigenous people and then completely destroyed their, their civilization and replaced it with what they thought was, should be their civilization. So let's, let's take a, a, a brief trip uh, into history and, and, and examine what exactly happened here. Um, now, unlike the, the British, the Spanish had a, a different ideology when it came to colonizing. Um, unlike the British, the Spanish conquistadors did not bring their white wives with them when they went and colonized. The British did. So when they went and colonized and killed everybody, uh, they had sex with their white wives or whoever the fuck these white women are, you know, the, whoever, the white woman that they brought with them. The Spanish people, they raped. I refuse to call it interbreeding. They raped the indigenous people, and then they had children, and then they took those children and raised them as their own, and forced those children to, uh, and they, they brought them up, they forced their, their stupid religious beliefs on, uh, on, the, on these uh, children who are the product of rape. Don't think for a second that any of this was consensual. Why are all Hispanic people and Latinos, why are they uh, uh, all Catholic? Well, the vast majority of them are Catholic. It is because of the stupid Sp Spanish motherfuckers. In Spain, they at one point, actually there, there was a time when part of Spain was in fact Muslim. And uh, the Spanish installed an inquisition to wipe out all other religions other than Catholicism. And they would force people to convert to Catholicism, they would banish people if they weren't Catholic, and they would even kill people, torture people, if they were not Catholic and refused to be Catholic. These, these fucks, these scumbags. So before they went and colonized South America and Mexico, they, they, had, they had this inquisition which converted all of them, everyone in Spain, the vast majority, to become Catholic. So when the conquistadors came to South America and Mexico, they were all Catholic. So when they forced their dumb beliefs, their stupid, unrealistic, unscientific, fairy tale beliefs on the indigenous people, they forced them to be Catholic. They are not, Hispanic people are not Catholic because of scientific reasons, because of good rationale, because of good arguments that formulated due to reason and logic. No, it's because of raping, killing, and torture. That is the reason. Now, Hispanic people are in a position where they have no cultural identity uh, that belongs to their Native American ancestors. And guess what they are? Hispanic people are not Hispanic people. The vast majority of them are Native American. They are descended from Mayans, if they're from Mexico. Uh, they are uh, Aztecs. They are Incas, if they're from parts of uh, Peru. That's what they are. There are so many different indigenous tribes and indigenous civilizations in these regions. None of them even identify as that anymore. They speak the language of the conqueror, of the invader. They have the religion of the invader. They, their food is influenced by the invader. That is what their culture has become. It has become the culture of the invaders to the point of where they do not even see themselves as Native Americans. And when you look at them, look, I gotta be honest, you look at a Mexican. Does he look white? Does he look black? Or does he look Native American? The vast majority of them 
are Native American. You can see it in their face. They are Native American. Some of them are white. Okay, I'll grant that. Yes, yeah, some of them are white. They are, some of them. But the vast majority of them are Native American, but they do not admit it. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to post a link in the, in the description. It's going to show that this, this uh, one, um, he's a, I'm not sure where he's from. I think he's from Mexico, and he's interviewing Mexicans and other Hispanics at this like Hispanic fair or whatever. And he's asking people what they voted on in the, in the census of describing their race. And they all said, oh, Hispanic? No, I, I should do my, my, my cheesy Hispanic uh, accent. Yeah, Hispanic? And, and, and no, there is, Hispanic is not a race. It's not even on the census. It's white, black, Native American, Asian, and they, they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to pick. Well, what, what do you pick? Black? They're obviously not black. Then in Asian? Mm, I mean, they, they were kind of like you know, wobbling between like white and Asian, I think. Eventually, most of them picked white even though they were quite obviously Native American. And this, this Mexican guy, I, I, you know, I'm glad he did this. You know, he was very frustrated with uh, the fact that, you know, his people had forgotten who they are and where they came from. And, um, you know, people who bash me for uh, making these videos about Spain being the worst country in the world, just look at that video and uh, tell me that these people's uh, culture and heritage was not taken away from them. This is Enigma Hood signing off.